Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. My name's Andrea. And I'm Gabe. Andrea and I are in front of you. We are going to teach you a good lesson today. Yes, it's a great lesson. It's a popular lesson about karaoke. Well, friends, let us start with our key words today. The first one is in front of. In front of. I do not like speaking in front of people. It makes me nervous. Snack. Snack. Melissa was hungry after lunch, so she ate a snack. Pick. Pick. Callie, you can pick the movie this time. John chose the last one. Popular. Popular. This movie is popular in Taiwan. Everyone likes it. Japanese. Japanese. I'm taking a Japanese class. Turn. Turn. You can use the computer now. It's your turn. And now it's our turn to review today's key words. In front of. In front of. Snack. Snack. Pick. Pick. Popular. Popular. Japanese. Japanese. Turn. Turn. Well done, everyone. Now it is Eddie's turn. Hello, Eddie. Konnichiwa. <laughs> What? Konnichiwa. 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 Eddie speaks <laughs> Japanese? I, I guess I... so. Whoa. Do you know any more Japanese? Wasabi. Ooh, <laughs> wasabi. very good. Well, wasabi is do nice. you also know today's mission? Oh, <laughs> I mean, hi. <laughs> today's mission. Why didn't Roger sing karaoke in America? Why didn't Roger sing karaoke in America? Okay, everybody, keep your ears open, pay attention to today's lesson, and you will find the answer to this mission. Let's go to the lesson right now. Patty, is this your first time singing karaoke? No. I sang karaoke in America one time, but... It wasn't like this. What is it like in America? There is one big room, and you have to sing in front of strangers. Really? I would be too nervous. Me too. That's why I never did karaoke in America. Well, Gabe, do you remember the first time you sang karaoke? <laughs> That's a good question. I do. I remember singing karaoke and thinking it was kind of strange. But Gabe, did you sing in front of many people? Well, Andrea, I sang in front of many of my friends in the KTV room. All right. Well, let's learn our key words. Say it with me. In front of. In front of. Now, if you sing in front of many people, That means when you look out, you can see many people looking at you while you are singing. Yes, and if you are in front of something, that means it's really close to you and you can see it. For example, I can stand in front of a mirror. If I stand in front of a mirror, I can see myself. Maybe some of you have to stand in front of your class if you're a student. Maybe you have to go in front of your class to give a presentation. You can also say, hey, don't sit in front of me. I can't see the TV. Well, some people don't like to do things in front of other people, right? No, that's right. It makes them scared. Well, it does kind of make me scared, too. But we have good news. We found the answer to today's mission. The question is... 
Why didn't Roger sing karaoke in America? Why didn't Roger sing karaoke in America? Because he was too nervous. That's right. He would have to sing karaoke in front of many strangers. And of course, strangers are people that you do not know. <laughs> Is there food at karaoke places in America? Yes. But there are no servers. <gasps> Shesha. Wow, this food looks so good. Do you like squid balls, Patty? I don't know. This is my first time to eat squid balls. <laughs> squid balls are my favorite KTV snack. Okay, everyone, pick your songs. Patty, look for songs in this book. Hey, everybody, Brian has a good question here. He says, Is there food at karaoke places in America? Andrea, is there food at these karaoke places? Well, Patty says, Yes, there is food, but there are no servers. So no one brings the food. Food to you. Okay, and at karaoke, usually you eat snacks. And let's learn this key word snack. Snack. A snack is usually something that you eat just for fun. It's not breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it's a snack. So a snack is something that you might eat between breakfast and lunch. When you get a little bit hungry. Now, friends, there's something we want to remind you about this word snack. S N A C K. It sounds a bit like another word, though. Snake. S N A K E. What is that, Gabe? That is snake. Yeah. But we want you to say snack if you're talking about the thing that you eat, unless you like to snack on snakes. I don't think anyone would want a snake for a snack. No, I would not pick a snake for a snack. Well, let's look at this next keyword pick. Pick. To pick means to choose something, especially after you look for it. You pick it. In our conversation, Susie says, pick your songs. So they look at all the songs and then they choose one. That they want to sing. Wow, there are so many English songs. Many people here like to sing popular English songs. There are also Japanese songs. Really? Do Japanese people come here a lot? <sighs> no, but many people here. Enjoy singing Japanese songs. Fun! Can you sing Japanese songs? No, but mom can. Later, it's Roger's turn. <gasps> <laughs> All right, it is Roger's turn. Now, Gabe, do you think that Roger will sing in front? Of everyone? <laughs> no, I think he's too scared to sing in front of a lot of people. Well, maybe he will choose a popular English song. Friends, let's choose to learn that key word. It is popular. Popular. Now, if something is popular, that means many people know about it. Or Many people are interested in it. That's right. If you are at school and there is someone that everybody likes, you can call that person the popular boy or the popular girl at school. Or if you want to go see a movie, you might want to see what movie is popular. That means many people have gone to see it. And Brian says that many people like to sing the popular English songs. So there are English songs at karaoke. And there are also Japanese songs. Our key word is Japanese. 
Japanese. Now we already learned that the word karaoke is a Japanese word. If something is Japanese, it comes from the country of Japan. And if you want to talk about Japanese people, you can also talk about the Japanese. You can say the Japanese are nice or Japanese people are nice. Well, we have another keyword. It's your turn to learn it. The keyword is turn. Turn. When it's your turn, that means it's your chance to do something. Conversation replay. Patty, is this your first time singing karaoke? No. I sang karaoke in America one time, but it wasn't like this. What is it like in America? There is one big room, and you have to sing in front of strangers. Really? I would be too nervous. Me too. That's why I never did karaoke in America. <laughs> is there food at karaoke places in America? Yes, but there are no servers. Wow, this food looks so good. Do you like squid balls, Patty? I don't know. This is my first time to eat squid balls. <laughs> squid balls are my favorite KTV snack. Okay, everyone, pick your songs. Patty, look for songs in this book. Wow, there are so many English songs. Many people here like to sing popular English songs. There are also Japanese songs. Really? Do Japanese people come here a lot? <sighs> no, but many people here enjoy singing Japanese songs. Fun! Can you sing Japanese songs? No, but mom can. Later. It's Roger's turn. <gasps> Calendar phrase. It's your turn. Gabe, it's your turn. Okay. Okay, now it's your turn. Well, it's my turn to say the calendar phrase, which is, it's your turn. It's your turn. Well, friends, it's your turn to learn more about this calendar phrase. It's your turn. It's your turn. Can I play with the cute little puppy? No. I'm still playing with him. I will tell you when it's your turn. When will it be my turn? Okay, it's your turn. You can play with him now. I want to play with him too. Can I play with the puppy now? No, I'm still playing with him. When will it be my turn? Mmm. Okay, it's your turn to play with him now. It's your turn. It's your turn. Now, Eddie, what is the question of the day? In Japanese? No, in uh, English. Okay, question of the day. Do you like to sing in front of people? Why or why not? Do you like to sing in front of people? Why or why not? I do not like to sing in front of people because it makes me scared. But Gabe, you're singing in front of people. I guess I am. Great job. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. And maybe you can try to sing in front of someone. We'll see you next time on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and on the radio. Learning English can be fun. fun. Bye -bye. That's right.